Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you five of the best free video editors that have no watermarks, no sort of restrictions and have all the features that all the paid video editors like Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro have. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So there's no particular order of what's best and worst. All these video editors have different features and some may be better for you than others. So the first video editor we have is Capwing and this is a collaborative video editor that you can access on any browser. The great thing about this is not only is it free, it's actually the most accessible video editor because you can access it on anything. You don't need a powerful computer like a lot of these video editors require. And my best way to describe Capwing is it's almost like the Canva of video editors because it has a really easy to use interface in the Capwing Studio on the left side are different options and settings that you can use. So they have text, layers, videos, images, different elements, and audio. So these are like stock video, stock audio, stock images that you can use. And not only that, you're able to record directly in Capwing. So you can record your screen for tutorials, record yourself if you're making like a sit down video, record audio separately if you are, for example, doing voiceovers. And they also have great templates if you are making content for social media like Instagram. And what's most important actually is they have a YouTube channel that has over 400 videos where you can learn how to create certain effects, certain types of videos within Capwing. And the biggest feature is actually that this is a collaborative video editing platform platform. So if you are working with a video editor, if you are working within a team, this is possibly the best tool you can use because you can easily edit videos together by just sharing a link. The next video editor on this list is HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express is free in the sense that they have an option where you can pay whatever you want for the software, but obviously you can just pay $0 and download the software. It's very comparable to something like Premiere Pro in terms of the layout. So it has very similar features to a lot of the top tier video editors like motion tracking. You can install plugins you can export in 4k and it's great for things such as animation as well if you've used Premiere Pro or know how Premiere Pro looks like it has a very similar layout so if you are transitioning from Adobe to HitFilm that might be a good option there are also paid HitFilm video editors and other software within that suite so if you are looking to later upgrade into something else there's also that option and similar to Capwing there's a lot of different tutorials and classes you can take and they have a library of different add-ons that you can use within the application as well the only downside is I have heard that it takes a toll on your computer for example if you have a cheap laptop or computer number three is the video editors that actually come on your Mac or Windows device which are iMovie and Windows video editor and I personally think that iMovie is a little bit better but essentially any software that comes pre-installed on your computer is probably decent enough to do things such as add music, splice clips, and add text. And sometimes that's all you need to just get started. Most likely, if you are looking at this video, you are an amateur. Maybe you just started editing and recording videos, or maybe you're starting a YouTube channel. But either way, it's going to be a great way to start learning sort of the work process and workflow. I wouldn't recommend you to stick with this if you do plan on editing more advanced videos, but this is definitely the easiest and possibly most accessible way that you can start editing videos. Next, we have Blender, which is not actually used as a traditional video editor. A lot of people use it for 3D and 4D animations, and it's actually comparable to Cinema 4D, except it is free. Blender is actually what I used to make my first intro. If you've ever seen those dubstep intros, back in the day, a lot of people made them in Blender. But other than that, it probably has the most features out of any of these video editors because it's mainly used for more than just basic video editing. There's also another downside that it doesn't really look as appealing because once again, it is not a traditional video editor, but you can edit videos in it. The only downside of using Blender is that it does require you to have a slightly powerful computer. And lastly, we have DaVinci Resolve, which is actually my personal favorite free video editor. For a long time, I actually didn't know that DaVinci Resolve was free because I had heard top tier filmmakers, people who make movies and TV shows and music videos actually use DaVinci Resolve for color grading. I actually had assumed that it was paid and I've actually seen a lot of people switch from editors like Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, which are paid video editors onto DaVinci Resolve. And that's how powerful and useful DaVinci Resolve is. And not only this, it's also available both on Mac and Windows, which is why some people use it over things like Final Cut 
So if you're looking to find a video editor that you can use long term that you won't have to switch or upgrade to, DaVinci Resolve is by far the number one thing I would recommend. And lastly, honorable mentions are to VSDC as well as VideoPad. And I mentioned these two because I have seen them in the comments a lot and I haven't used them enough to actually give a proper review on them. But if you don't like the other five that I mentioned, you can possibly check out these other two as well. And I'm also going to give an honorable mention to Adobe Creative Cloud, not because it's free, but you can actually get over 60% off if you're a student or teacher so if you were planning to get Premiere Pro as your main video editor but it was too expensive maybe you can reconsider if you get that 60% promotion but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you out my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one